What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Young Twan. I'm back at it with another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make some Q beat style samples, um, some different kind of Q beat style samples, some like more like dark, spacey kind of uh, samples. Something like also something Palace would make. So yeah, let's just uh, get right into the video. By the way, if you're interested in uh, cooking up to this sample, just uh, leave a comment down below or DM me on Instagram and I'll make sure to send it over to you. So yeah, I started with Omnisphere. I got this Celeste Viber Retro from Keyscape uh, and I laid down uh, these uh, chords. So yeah, I'm gonna just play for y'all. So yeah, th those were the chords. Now that was without the effects. With the effects, I added a EQ, cut some of the lows, and a lustrous play. This uh, lustrous play is a reverb from uh, Liquid Sonics. It's a very good reverb. You have like some cool plates. It's like a plate reverb. Uh, it's very good. I recommend you guys to go cop it. Uh, I turned down the dry and wet knob, and this is what it sounds like now. So yeah, pretty fire. So yeah, next I went into Omnisphere and I picked this delusional mechanic lead. Uh, I think this is in uh, Keyscape Creative, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, and then I, uh, this is what the effects turned off. And uh, this is what I played. So now with the effects, I added a uh, fruity um, a parametric EQ. So called the, the lows and the highs and also this harsh frequency to clean it up. I added a primal tap with the Rhodes hard vibrato preset. I turned down the mix right here. Uh, I don't know if you guys knew this, but if you click, if you go in the sound toy plugins and you click on these things that you actually get the actual values. Um, so yeah, I turned it down to 32%. And then I picked also this portal plugin. Uh, Portal's cool. Uh, I don't really use it that much, but uh, I definitely want to start using it more. I picked the Dreamy Box, Dreamy Music Box preset, and I turned uh, the dry wet knob all, like very down, like to like 17% or something like that. And this is what it sounds like now. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I then opened up Contact and I opened up this uh, North Vintage Keys. It's a Spitfire Contact library. And I pulled up this Whirly Lo-Fi uh, preset and uh, I played these. So it just repeats. That was without the effects, not with the effects. Uh, I used an EQ to cut the lows out and clean it up a bit here. Primal tap, uh, again with the Rose Hard Vibrato, uh, again around 35%. Uh, I added a halftime, but I turned it off in the end. And then this time I used a Verb Suite Classics. It's another reverb uh, from Liquid Sonics. And I used the default preset and I'm pretty sure I turned down the dry and wet knob and this is what it sounds like. So yeah, you can tell that on all of these like uh, melodies, like the effects play a big part in in uh, in what it sounds. Because if I just played this without the effects, without with the effects, you know, it just sounds like so much more, so much saucier, you know. So in the end, I wanted to add like a top line, uh, and I picked this Jade Ethnic Orchestra, the Hulu C Alto Legato uh, preset. And uh, I went and put this uh, top line. So yeah, this was without the effects, now with the effects. So 
So the effects is an EQ to clean it up. As you can see, there's some harsh frequencies right here. And then a Valhalla Vintage Verb uh, with uh, the default preset, I'm pretty sure. Just turned down some of the decay, some of the mix, and uh, yeah, didn't do nothing too crazy. Uh, so then, of course, as I usually do, I bounced it out as like an audio form. And uh, and yeah, pretty much so I rendered it out. Uh, but I, I thought, you know, I could add like some more sauce in this intro right here. Cause this is cool. But then I found this percussion loop. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's from one of the I'll Hug percussion loop uh, kits, percussion breaks uh, kit. So make sure to go cop that, check that out, super fire. Uh, I added this uh, percussion loop is what it sounds like. Yeah, super, super fire. So it was at 139 uh, BPM. And uh, yeah, I, is this is what it sounds like. Oh yeah, shoot, I forgot. So I rendered it out and uh, I routed it to track number six and I added some final effects in the end. I added this EQ uh, to clean it up. Uh, again, there was some harsh frequencies right here. Um, I, I put an isotope vinyl where I turned down, turned up a bit of the wear, turned up the warp and depth and turned the year to 1980. And I, I opened up a Good Hertz Wolf Compressor 3 and I use a sad whirly preset and I messed around, you know, with the wow, low fi and compression. Uh, and then lastly, I opened up Spin. Spin is a super great plugin from Clevgrand and I use the cheesy electric piano and I turned down the, um, the mix right here. I know you can't see because I just opened up the project, but I did turn it down. Uh, and yeah, this is pretty much the final sample. So yeah, pretty much that's the whole sample. Uh, I never really add uh, percussion loops to my samples, but I don't know why I did for this one. I, I felt like it, that's what it needed. Um, I don't tend to use percussion loops because percussion loops add like a, a kind of rhythmic element to it. And you usually add the rhythmic element to it with, uh, to samples with like drums, you know, hi-hats, claps and stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment uh, letting me know what you guys would want to see next um, and I'll make sure to hook you up. Yeah, follow me on my, follow me on my socials, follow me on Instagram and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.